हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इनफेटक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू अपलोड अ फाइल टू अमेजॉन एस थ्री यूजिंग गोलैंग विद दी हेल्प ऑफ दी ए डब्ल्यू एस गोलैंग एच डी के वर्शन टू सो टू डू दैट यू नीड टू हैव एन अमेजॉन ए डब्ल्यू एस अकाउंट बीइंग सेटअप सो एंड आल्सो यू नीड टू डू सम कॉन्फ़िगरेशन because we are going to programmatically access the aws services so if you want to programmatically access uh, your aws services there is some configuration setup to do as well so to do that uh, first let's uh, discuss about the uh, configuration so before that i'm i'm on the aws uh, s3 home page so here we are going to add the buckets option so here we have an bucket called infitech right so i have just created this bucket using this option create bucket so you can click on create bucket and give your bucket name you can specify the re region so our region is going to be us east one and also you can specify the public access i have removed the i have given the uh, public access to my uh, bucket uh, as of now so you can specify your bucket configuration and you can create your bucket here as well and after creating the bucket you can see the bucket is being listed down in the bucket section so what we are going to do we are going to upload a text file to this infitech bucket using our go program so that's what we are going to do so before that so in order to access this amazon as the service programmatically you need to do some configuration setup in your machine so for that you need to go to the iim console in the iim console go to the security credentials make make sure you have created a iim user so don't do with the root user so that is not recommended basically uh, make sure that you have created an iim uh, user uh, and you have given the uh, access and the privilege rights to the uh, amazon s3 and after you have created an amazon uh, iim user log in with your iim user come over to this iim dashboard and come to the security credentials and you can create your own uh, access key over here also so that's how you can create an access key so basically access key is something which helps you to programmatically access your aws service with your go program so with access key you will be getting an access key id and a secret key as well so secret key will be only visible once it will not be visible for the second time once you are close it the dialog post successful creation of the access key so make sure you have created your access key in this dashboard with the iim user only so once you have created once you have got your uh, access key and what you have to do is uh, you need to uh, go to your home directory in under the home directory create a folder called .aws and in the aws you can have two files called config and credentials so in the config you can specify your own aws region and in your credentials uh, you can specify your aws access key and aws secret access key uh, like this so our go program will take this keys uh, with the help of a method called load default config so this will be your default config so i will be deleting this access key soon after this video so this access key will not work even if you try to do so you can have your aws config and aws credentials being set up under the dot aws folder so that our go program looks into this folder and picks up the aws config and aws credentials so that is the basic setup you need to have before getting started okay so now let's get started with the code you can just start writing uh, for so for that first i'm going to define a struct called aws service okay uh, aws service struct or maybe service so in this aws service struct um i we, you can have something called s3 client so you need an s3 client to interact with the uh, aws s3 so that is of type uh, pointed to an s3 client uh, okay 
so before that you need to install some dependencies in your system uh, you can you you need to have some dependencies i have installed it uh, previously you need to have uh, uh, these three things so let me bring in those uh, basically you will have to say you you need to have these three dependencies one is you need, you can say go get and the aws uh, uh, dependency and you can have config and you can have service slash s3 okay so that's how you can install all these three uh, dependencies using the go get command so make sure you uh, have your dependencies installed using the go get command and your dependencies are all these three which are coming from the aws sdk uh, uh, version 2 package okay so these are the uh, dependencies you will be needing for now so now we have the aws service struct and the service struct will have the s3 client which is coming from this uh, s3 uh, library and now you can write the function called upload file okay so this upload file can have a receiver type and that receiver type can be aws service uh, maybe you can say aws service and which is of type aws service this is going to be the calling type and this upload file can return an error as well so this upload file basically takes in some params one is going to be the bucket name which is going to be of type string and bucket key which is going to be of type string and the last one is going to be the file name itself which is going to be of type string so when calling this upload file method one should pass in these three required parameters so first let us try to open the file with the given file name so we need to use the os package you can say os.open uh, this takes in the uh, file name so this might return a file or an error so let us check for the error if there is any error then you are just going to log it to the console you can say uh, print an error while opening the file and just print out that error ok so that's about the error handling for file opening and if everything is fine you will come to the else box and the first thing you have to do is just close this file soon after the function ends file dot close so and after that you can start using your aws service to put in your file you can say aws service dot s3 client dot put object one second put object so this basically takes in context as parameter and the second parameter is going to be the uh, put object input struct ok put s3 dot put uh, so we are going to say s3 dot put object input struct ok basically this takes in some parameters so those are going to be the bucket so that bucket takes in the pointer string so you can use the aws.string method and pass in the bucket name over here you can also have the key so that takes in the pointer string you can have the bucket key here as well and you can pass in the body which is going to be your uh, file the actual file basically this body accepts an io reader and our file is also the type of uh, io reader only so basically we are going to pass in the file to the object so this put object method can return us the output or the error so that uh, we are going to handle it now so we would not be needing the first param and we would be needing the error so we are going to say if 
there is an error then just print it out to the console you can say error while uploading the file and just print out the error now let us just uh, handle the error as well so if there is any error you can just return the error from the body itself so here you have the upload file so now just you need to call this particular upload file method you can have your main function now so this main function uh, f f uh, we need to load the config as i discussed earlier in the video you need to load the aws config so for that we are going to use this config package you, you can say config dot load uh, default config this takes in the uh, context okay and you should also pass in the uh, region with region you can have your default region uh, let's say the region should be your bucket region uh, our bucket is being created in the us east one okay so us east one you have the region as well so this load default config will return as the config and the error or the error so you can say uh, config comma error and let's do an error check now so if there is an error uh, you can say error while loading the aws config so if there is no error you can just create the struct you can say aws service can be aws service struct you can pass in the s3 client uh, you can say s3 you can use the s3 package and say new from config and you need to pass in the config so basically this is how we are going to create an s3 client okay so we are going to use the method method new from config and pass in our, our default config over here now we are going to use this aws service um, undeclared name so now we are going to use this aws service and call the upload file method so this upload file takes in three parameters the bucket name is going to be infitech and the bucket key is going to be some example and the file name is going to be the text file example dot txt which is going to be in the current directory so here i'm having an example dot text file in my current directory which is hello aws okay so i'm having this example dot txt file so this is what i wanted to upload so this might return an error this function so let us check for that okay so let us do the error check if there is an error uh, error while uploading the file otherwise you can say else successfully uploaded okay so that's all so basically this is the setup you needed this is the program you would be needed to upload a file to AWS S3 now let us try to execute this so let's see if we are going to have any errors or we are good to go with the file upload to AWS S3 so I'm going to run the program I'm going to see if there are any er errors okay it is said that successfully uploaded now let us go to the console uh, let me refresh just in case uh, and open the bucket infitech and here you go we have the uh, example so you have the timestamp also it is being uploaded at 1857 and 
here is the timestamp as well so yeah, as you can see the file has been uploaded to aws s3 with a just uh, minimal steps so basically this is the uh, how you can upload an uh, object to aws s3 in just few steps so that's all thank you for watching this video